do the Atlanta Falcons already have an elite pass rusher on their roster as we speak today? Now, a lot of Falcons fans are like, yeah, no way we don't. That's been an issue that we need it going forward. But in this video, I'm going to tell you about a guy currently on the roster that could be very impactful when it comes to rushing the passer at an elite level. Now, many of you are thinking, who is this guy? It's not Grady. It's not David Ayamada. Who are you talking about? And to this, I would say Troy Anderson. Now, a couple reasons why I think Troy Anderson can make an impact, especially in regards to pass rusher. Number one, I think that this new system that they're bringing in, this 3-4 defensive system, will in turn move him to that outside linebacker, a.k.a. that edge rushing presence. Especially with the emergence of Caden Ellis and Nate Landman, we need to find a spot for Troy Anderson, who is honestly a really good athlete. Now, in regards to Troy Anderson, people forget a lot about him. People forget that he's 6'4", that he's 235, and he ran a 4'4", four, four, I'm not saying he's Michael Parsons. Don't get me wrong. But there's some similar characteristics between him and Michael Parsons that a lot of people need to turn to tune in on and which allow Michael Parsons to be an elite pass rusher, which I think Troy Anderson has the ability to become. Now, he's playing linebacker right now, inside linebacker, but a lot of people fail to realize he has this knack of getting to the ball. He has a great sense of bend, and he uses his hands a lot to shed tackles, to shed blockers. Similarly to what he can do on the edge where he would shed to the, the offensive tackle and get to the pass rusher. Now, I know this may be far-fetched. A lot of people are saying there's no way he can become an elite edge pass rusher, but look what Michael Parsons did. Same kind of style, same type of, type of player. Michael Parsons had limited amount of usage rushing the passer in college. They developed him. They let him free roam free, and boom, he turned into this elite player. I think Troy Anderson has that potential as well. Obviously not at the level of Michael Parsons, but if you think about it, they're very, very similar in size and stature. They both have high motors, and I think if we give Troy Anderson a chance at the edge along with drafting another young stud, I think that this will be a solution to the edge rushing problem that we've had for a long time. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, please do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And if you want to see more videos similar to what I'm talking about in this video, check this video out right here. And like always, peace.